A new bridge crossing over the train tracks and extending Murphy Road to 15th Street in Southeast Bend is now open. Jack Hirsch was there as the first drivers crossed the bridge this afternoon. Jack, I suppose there are lots of happy people on that side of town today. Yes, there were, Lee. Absolutely. Drivers, walkers, cyclists, everybody I spoke to today was thrilled with this bridge because they're going to have shorter commute time. They won't have to wait for the train anymore, uh, etc. Now, this bridge adds a new east-west connection in Bend that many agree is something the city really needs. I live a couple blocks from here and I've been waiting years for this place to open. Clinton Park was one of the first to walk over Southeast Bend's new Murphy Road Bridge. It's a straight shot to the other side of the town. Sean Pelagi agrees. And this is going to make a much more direct route to 3rd Street. Oh, and that other thing. And without having to stop for the train. This new Murphy Road Bridge provides a key connection for Southeast Bend. As we zoom in here on the city, you'll see the new bridge right here provides the only way under or over the railroad tracks between Broster House Road here and 3rd Street. The other two crossings at Wilson and Reed Market are still great crossings. Brother, I'm from Honolulu. We don't have trains. And when that woo-woo comes across, it, it, <laughs> I feel like burning it. The bridge completes the Murphy Road Corridor Improvement Project, which started in 2019. The southeast area of town is r really growing and booming over these past few years, and it's continuing to grow. So getting this bridge over the railroad is huge to, for connectivity purposes. Before the bridge opened to traffic around 3 p.m. Thursday, it was open just to walkers and cyclists, even some amateur bridge builders to test it. <laughs> Most excited to see the new connector. Now, out in the distance, Lee, you can just see those cars crossing the road. That's Reed Market Road, where there's a grade crossing still there, as I mentioned. And they had a, the city had an opening ceremony for this bridge here today. And I spoke to uh, City Councilor Jenna Goodman Campbell about plans for an overpass there that, if you recall, Lee, is included in the $190 million transportation bond passed last year. But Councilor Goodman Campbell told me that plans right now for that overpass, there's still no timetable for that. Live in Bend, Jack Hirsch, News Channel 21.